Hey, what's going on YouTube? And welcome back to all my cloud scholars out there. My name is Kieran Tross. And I want to thank you for clicking on this video. I will make it worth your while. This is going to be a game changer for all the Azure administrators out there. So I just found out about you a way that you can delegate your role assignments and using conditions within Azure. So you're probably wondering why would I need to do that? Well, let's talk about it. So when Microsoft comes out with these different tools and these new features, I always say to myself, all right, you know, it sounds great. Um, but some, some other people, they may not be able to really get excited. Like I am getting excited about it. So what I want to do is I want to kind of walk you through a scenario because I get these different questions from different clients I'm working with. And, you know, sometimes they'll ask you questions about, you know, Hey, we have this problem that we're dealing with, or, you know, we have teams getting inundated with a lot of requests because somebody needs access to whatever, um, whatever resource within the, um, Azure portal. So what I want to do is I'm going to do the same thing for you all. And just kind of go through this scenario with you. And then I'm going to give you about five seconds to see if you can answer it yourself. And then I'll tell you exactly what I think about it. So in this scenario, we have Jenny is the application manager. She has contractors coming into the department. She is currently building out her team and is constantly putting in a service request to provide and revoke access to her log analytics workspace. You were told to give her owner rights to perform this on her own so she can leave it alone, right? So she leaves IT alone, excuse me. Is this the right approach? Now, some companies are a little bit smaller, so they might be able to gauge that person's IT intellect and say, okay, I can trust this person. I've been there where I've done certain things where I'm like, okay, I can trust this person. They're just a little bit more IT savvy. But let's say if you're in a large organization or you're running things the right way with making sure that things are compliant and you're really making sure that you're given the rights that they only need to perform their job. We're talking about least privilege. So the problem with this scenario right here, where it goes to um, the owner rights of it and stuff like that because if you're giving them owner rights they have full rights on whatever azure resource that you that you're giving them access to and you really don't want to go about doing that so with this role assignment management and using conditions it really helps you out and all of us out in in order to make sure that we're doing the right stuff so how does delegating role assignments help so one, uh, we make a role assignment that is constrained using the condition and then uh, use a new built in role that has built in conditions. And I'll explain that once we get to the Azure portal. So this is a really quick visual that I got from the Microsoft page, which really talks about how we're going to go about you with this delegate and rights, right? So we have Alice administrator. She has user access administrator and she's able to create, update or delegate roles. She has access to all roles and then all principles. Uh, she wants to delegate the role to Dara. And basically what she's saying is Dara is going to be able to be a virtual machine administrator login, virtual machine user login, all other roles are no. So she's only given Dara those rights. And then she also gives um, rights over principles, right? So service principles. So we're not doing anything like a contributor rights. So we're not doing anything like that, but we are given the virtual machine administrator user login rights. And we're also given the virtual machine user um uh, user login and user administrator, excuse me. So back over at the Azure portal, what I want you to do is find any resource you can use, you know, what I'm going through with a log, a log analytics workspace. I have my Sentinel workspace right here. And when I click on my Sentinel workspace, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to access control. I am, and then on the access control, I am, I'm going to go add, add role assignment. So under add role assignment, I'm not going to go to these job functions right here. What I wanted you to do is I really want you to focus on this privileged administrator roles. So once I have this privileged administrator roles right now, you're seeing role members and review plus assign, right? So once I click on one of these, and this is the one that's in preview, the role based access control administrator. So as I said to you before, our owner, right, grants full access to manage all resources, including the ability to assign roles in the Azure RBAC. Remember in our scenario, the person needs to give access and take access away. They don't necessarily need full access to the whole resource. Cause that means they can delete things. They can do all types of other stuff. Then we have a contributor who's grant full access to manage all resources, but does not allow you to assign roles in our back. So this wouldn't be good for us anyway, but we have this one is manage access to Azure resource by assigning roles using our back. This role does not allow you to manage access using other ways, such as Azure policy. 
and then you have user access administrator so as i said to you before i haven't clicked on any of these yet but you notice right here is role members and review assigned so if i were to click on this one you see here it says conditions because i clicked on one of these if i come back to job functions and i click on one of these you'll see conditions is going to be gone right so we're going to go make sure you go to privilege administrator roles and then once you're here you're going to go to this role based access control so let me back up a little bit and i'm going to click on next now what we want to do is say okay who is are we assigning this to so i need to find somebody in my organization i need to assign to so i don't have a jenny in my organization but i do have a test user account that i can use for this so i'm going to use a test user account and i'm going to click select so now I have my test user, I need to go to next, and then I'm gonna to go to my conditions. This is where real, all the magic happens. So it says role-based access control administrator. This is in preview, and we have the delegation type, which is not constrained, and then we have constrained. So we're gonna go with constrained, and we're gonna add a condition. Now with these conditions, we are able to choose one of the templates. So if we were to say constrained roles, we could configure, you'll see right here, it just add roles. Now if we say constrained roles and principal types, if I say configure, we're going to be able to add roles and then we're going to say what types are we able to add this to if the user is a group or if it's a service principal and if we see constrained roles and principles we just say add principles so i'm going to go with this middle section right here and what i want to do is i'm like okay so i need to give them access to log analytics so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say log analytics and right here I have two. So I can either give somebody a contributor rights to this or I can give someone a reader. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna let her do both. And she has the ability to say, I wanna give this person more rights because they need to do more things within that workspace. Or I can say, hey, you know, she probably just wants to give them reader rights because I'm based on their service request that she's been putting in. These are the rights that she's always asking for. Then over here, I can say principal types, I can say users, I can say groups, but I don't want to give her groups because I'm like, well, that's too much people. I just want to leave it to users or I can give the search principles or perhaps you want to give her groups because you're like, okay, I want to manage it. And everybody within this group has this access or whatever. It really depends on you. So we'll leave it to users for this and we'll click save and then we'll click save. And then now we're able to see, we're seeing log analytics reader, log analytics contributor, and we have the type, which is user. So then next, when I go to next, I'll see the review as always, and then I'll click on review and sign. And then that's pretty much it. And now what you're doing is you're alleviating the request that comes into your service desk. And now alleviating the request that your administrators are going to have to go through with this constantly of saying, okay, give access, take away access, all this other stuff. Even though it doesn't take too long to remove the access, it's still work that does not need to be completed. And then you're able to give the onus to the application owner. Now, what I would suggest is this kind of rights that you're given should probably be to somebody in management. But then again, it's really you to make that choice and what's necessary for your organization to make sure that your security posture is really strong. So that is the end of this quick video. I wanna thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please leave it in the uh, comment section below. I'm more than happy to respond. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Once again, my name is Kieran Tross and my goal here at Cloud Scholars is to get you from scholar to consultant and of course, consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.